time for English on the Go, which means we're going to take a look at a clip sent to us from a native speaker who could be anywhere in the world. Today, we have our Australian friend, Kelsey. 네, 세계 다양한 곳에 살고 있는 사람들의 이야기를 들어보는 시간이죠. Mm-hmm. 호주에 사는 켈시 씨에게 타입캐스팅에 대해서 어떻게 생각하는지 질문해 봤습니다. Okay, why don't we call her out and see what she has to say. Kelsey 씨, 나와주세요. 나와주세요. Usually in the world of acting, if someone's always being cast in the same kind of role, you say that they're being typecast. So for example, if someone's um, cast as an evil villain in one movie, and after that all the roles that they're getting are always for evil villains, that's because people are seeing them as this one role and they can't see them as anything else. Um, So they're being typecast as an evil villain all the time. Um, And it's definitely a term that can be used in everyday life as well. Um, And I think it's just another word for stereotyping. So for example, at university here in Australia, there's people from all these different countries and maybe you've got a group assignment to do and someone's thinking, oh, I want to be in a team with an a-, a group with an Asian because their typecast is being really smart. Or if you've got a sports thing, you, you're, you want to be on the team with the African because their typecast is being really athletic. Um, so it's definitely something that's really common, I think. And just another word for stereotyping. That is also true. It doesn't necessarily have to deal with roles in like a movie, mm-hmm. etc. It could be some daily life roles as well. So that was a good 맞아요. way to put it. 네, 정말 맞는 말인 것 같습니다. Mm-hmm. 마지막 부분에서 이제 stereotyping 사람들의 그 고정관념이죠. 고정관념하고도 이게 일맥상통하는 이야기다. 그래서 mm-hmm. 아시안 학생이 있으면은 당연히 공부 잘할 것 같으니까 같이 숙제하자라고 한다든지 yeah. 그런 예들을 좀 들어줬는데요. Mm-hmm. 자, 그럼 한줄한줄 한줄 자세히 공부 시작해 볼까요? Okay, sounds great. Let's start with the first line. Usually in the world of acting, if someone's always being cast in the same kind of role, you say that they're being typecast. Usually in the world of acting, if someone's always being cast in the same kind of role, you say that they're being typecast. Usually, 보통, in the world of acting, 연기의 세계에서 또는 연기 분야에서 right. 세계라고 굳이 번역 안 해도 되겠죠? Mm-hmm. Uh, if someone's always being cast, in the same kind of role, mm-hmm. 똑같은 종류의 그 역할에 mm-hmm. 계속 cast 되게 되면 mm-hmm. you say they're being typecast. typecast. Typecast 된다고 말합니다. 그래서 mm-hmm. 그 표현을 그대로 한번 써봤고요. Mm-hmm. 아까 메간 선생님이 독백에서는 typecasted, ed를 붙여줬는데 mm-hmm. 여기에서는 또 과거 분사로 ed를 안 붙인 형태를 써준 거예요. Yeah. Both are possible. Yeah, they're both possible. So you can say someone was typecasted for a role or someone was typecast for a role. They both work in this case. 네, 그리고 이 cast로 C-A-S-T가 원래 던진다는 뜻이거든요. Right, so when you're fishing, we say that you're casting your yeah. rod. Yeah, rod. You're casting it. 네, cast, 그 다음에 방금 rod는 R-O-D라고 쓰고요. Mm-hmm. 그 던진다라는 뜻을 가진 어, 이 cast를 붙이는 경우에 그런 경우가 많아요. 예를 들어 broadcast. Oh, yeah. 방송한다라고 할 때도 broadcast도 broadly casting. 네, 멀리 던지는 거죠. Mm-hmm. 그 신호를, mm-hmm. 영상과 음성을. Mm-hmm. 그래서 그것도 과거형으로 broadcasted라고 mm-hmm. 쓰는 사람도 있고 mm-hmm. broadcast라고 그냥 똑같은 형태로 쓰는 경우도 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 여기서는 이제 켈시 그 씨는 이들 안 붙인 형태로 과거 분사를 썼어요. Mm-hmm. 자, 그럼 다음 문장 볼까요? Mm-hmm. So, for example, if someone's um, cast as an evil villain in one movie. So, for example, if someone's cast as an evil villain in one movie. So, for example, 예를 들어서, if someone's cast, 여기서는 이제 someone is cast. Yeah. 네. Mm-hmm. Someone's cast가 원래 우리가 그 기부스 한다고 하는 거 있죠? Oh, yeah. 그걸 가리킬 수도 있어서 헷갈릴 수 있, 있거든요. Right. 네, 그게 아니고 여기서는 과거 분사로 someone is cast as an evil villain. 네. Villain. Not village. Not village. Yeah. Villain. Villain. Mm-hmm. 그리고 villain 아닙니다. <laughs> yes, not villain. 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 발음 주의하셔야 돼요. 저도 처음에 영어로 이 단어 배웠을 때 <웃음> villain이라고 발음을 했더니 친구가 what? <웃음> what? What are you What are you saying? 이렇게 말을 하더라고요. Mm-hmm. Villain. Mm-hmm. Yes, villain. 네, 악당을 villain이라고 해요. Mm-hmm. 그리고 예, yeah, evil villain. 사실은 <웃음> evil. Yeah, you can take out evil, but for some reason we just use it as a fixed expression. Evil villain, evil, evil villain. villain, evil villain. So Is, just know that you can put it together too. Are there nice villains too? No. No. But They're for all... some reason we just say it. 네, 나쁜 악당 항상 좋은 악당이라는 건 별로 없는데도 항상 yeah. evil villain이라고 하는 것 같고요. Mm-hmm. 어 어떤 사람이 한 영화에서 악당 역할을 맡았다면 여기까지 봤습니다. 다음 문장. 
And after that, all the rules that they're getting are always for evil villains. And after that, all the roles that they are getting are always for evil villains. 실제로 이런 경우 자주 있죠. Mm-hmm. And after that, 그런 다음에는 all the roles that they are getting, 그들이 받게 되는 모든 역할들이 are always 항상 mm-hmm. for evil villains. Mm-hmm. 항상 악당 역할이에요. 이렇다면 여기까지가 이제 if를 어, 가지고 감싼 형태고요. Mm-hmm. 그 다음에 if a and then B, B. B 형태가 나올 겁니다. Okay. 다음 문장 보시죠. That's because people are seeing them as this one rule and they can't see them as anything else. That's because people are seeing them as this one role and they can't see them as anything else. 앞에 나왔던 if 하면서 그 사람이 악당 역할을 한번 맡았는데 그 뒤에 계속 맡는다면 right. That's because 그건 뭐 때문이냐면 이제 B 형태죠. That's mm-hmm. because People are seeing them, mm-hmm. 그 사람을, 그 여, 어, 역할을 맡은 배우를 mm-hmm. as this one role, mm-hmm. 이 하나의 역할로만 볼, 보고 있는 거죠. Mm-hmm. And they can't see them, 볼 수가 없어요. As yep. anything else. Mm-hmm. 이 사람이 악당인데 갑자기 다음 역할, 다음 영화에서 예를 mm-hmm. 들어서 선생님, right. 아니면 경찰 이렇게 나오면 이상하다는 거죠. It's weird. Or especially if they were a hero yeah. in all the movies like Tom Cruise, mm-hmm. but then suddenly he played a weak person mm-hmm. who needed help. Yeah. It would be weird. It doesn't really match. Yeah, his, it doesn't his image. match. Yeah. Yeah. 그래서 이제 사람들이 이걸 설명한 거예요. Mm-hmm. They can't see them as anything else. Right. Okay? Let's move on to the next one. Um, so they're being typecast as an evil villain all the time. So they're being typecast as an evil villain all the time. 그래서 all the time 항상 그 사람은 어, 악당 역할만 맡게 됩니다. 이런 mm-hmm. 문장인데요. 여기서 또 개념적으로 잘 이해하셔야 될 것은 mm-hmm. typecast as 뭐뭐로 yes. 캐스팅된다. Yeah. So let's say if I'm an actress, Megan is always typecast as the smart girl mm-hmm. or the nerdy girl. I see. Right. 그래서 메건 선생님이 만약에 배우라면 Typecast as 똑똑한 캐릭터 또는 yes. nerdy 캐릭터 이것도 똑똑한 거 비슷한 mm-hmm. 건데요. 항상 그런 역할을 맡게 된다. Mm-hmm. 실제로는 안 그러니까. Right. It's not true, but <웃음> yeah. it was just an example. You're yeah. typecast an example. as the role. Typecast yeah. as a role. 그래서 casting 뒤에 as가 오는 거꼭 기억해 주시고요. Mm-hmm. 다음 문장 보겠습니다. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's definitely a term that can be used in everyday life as well. Um, and I think it's just another word for stereotyping. And it's definitely a term that can be used in everyday life as well. And I think it's just another word for stereotyping. This is very true and yeah. very, very interesting. Mm-hmm. 저는 그 역할 맞는 거 이야기하고 끝날 줄 알았는데 right. 바로 다른 이야기가 시작이 되네요. Yeah. And it's definitely a term, 확실히 어떤 용어입니다. Mm-hmm. That can be used in everyday, everyday life. life as well. Mm-hmm. 일상생활에서도 쓸수 있는, 확실히 mm-hmm. 쓸수 있는 용어입니다. Mm-hmm. 무엇이? 타이캐스팅이. Mm-hmm. And I think it's just another word. 그리고 이것은 just another word for? Stereotyping. 네. Stereotype. Stereotype이라는 것은 이제 고정관념이라는 명사가 되기도 하고요. 이것을 고정관념에 맞추다라고 동사로 쓰기도 합니다. 그래서 stereotyping someone 하면 예를 들어 stereotyping all Koreans 이렇게 말하면 mm-hmm. 한국 사람들은 다 예를 들어 매운 거잘 먹더라 다뭐 하더라 다 태권도를 잘하더라 이렇게 당연히 그럴 거야 라고 생각하는 그 고정관념을 어, 적용시키는 것을 동사로 stereotype이라고 하고요 고정관념 자체도 stereotype이라고 합니다 That's 그래서 right. 네, 문장을 보시면 It's just another word for stereotyping. Mm-hmm. 네, 똑같은 말이란 이야기죠. Yes, yeah, the same. And it doesn't just have to be about race or country as well. It can mm. be about the way you look. Well, people with big lips, maybe they look like this or they look like that as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't necessarily have to be about, you know, your race or country as well. 아, 맞아요. Mm-hmm. 혹 인종이나 국가에 right. 관련된 것은 아니고요. Mm-hmm. 신체적인 특징이라든지 yeah. 어떤 지역 출신이라든지 다 right. stereotype 있을 수 있는데 그것을 또 mm-hmm. typecasting이라고 표현도 할수 있대요. Yeah, so let's see what she says next. I think she gives us an example. So for example, at university here in Australia, there's people from all these different countries. So for example, here at university here in Australia, there's people from all these different countries. 예를 들어서, at university here in Australia, mm-hmm. 호주에 있는 이곳, 
대학교에서는 즉 특징 어, 특, 특정 어떤 대학교 한 군데만 가리키는 건 아니고 네. 일반적으로 호주의 대학교들에서는 이런 뜻도 되고요. 네. There's people from all these different countries. Mm-hmm. 어, 다양한 나라에서 온 사람들이 유학을 왔겠죠. Right. 음. Mm-hmm. 또는 실제로 거기에 살고 있는 사람들인데 그냥 부모님들이 yeah. 다른 나라 출신일 수도 있어요. Oh yeah, it's very similar in America. We have people from many different countries who are American. Yeah, yeah. they can be either first generation immigrants or second, second generation, generation immigrants. Or third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Yeah. Some people's families have been here for many, many years. But once you are over, I guess, Third, the third generation immigrant or the fourth generation right. immigrant, you don't really say that you are an immigrant anymore. You don't. 음. At that point, you're just, you're American. Or Australian. <웃음> Australian, 네. right. 자, 그래서 아무튼 다양한 나라에서 온 사람들이 있는데 mm-hmm. 그 어떤 일이 일어나는지 또 구체적인 예가 다음 문장에 나옵니다. Mm-hmm. And maybe you've got a group assignment to do and someone's thinking... And maybe you've got a group assignment to do and someone's thinking... 그리고 maybe 여기서 말하는 maybe라는 것은 아마도가 아닌 예를 들어서 yes, 네, just 그냥, example, for an yeah, example. Yeah. As an example or for example, you've got a group assignment. 네. assignment. 많이 들어보셨죠? 과제. Mm-hmm. 그래서 조별 과제를 말합니다. Mm-hmm. To do 해야 되는 조별 과제가 있는데 and someone is thinking mm-hmm. 누군가가 이렇게 생각할 수도 있어요. Mm-hmm. So what is this person thinking? We'll find out next. Oh, I want to be in a team with an a group with an Asian because their typecast is being really smart. Oh, I want to be in a team with an a group with an Asian because their typecast is being really smart. Because someone 누가 되는지는 모르겠지만 이렇게 mm-hmm. 생각하는 거죠. I want to be in a group with an Asian. 네, 아시아인이 있는 사, 어, 팀에 들어가고 싶다. Mm-hmm. 아시아인이 한 명이라도 있는 조에 들어갈래라고 생각을 한대요. Mm-hmm. 왜냐하면 because They are typecast as being really smart. 네, 아시아 사람들은 really smart, 아주 똑똑하다고 사람들이 고정관념을 갖고 있는 거죠. Mm-hmm. It's 네. a stereotype about Asians. 네. They are really, really smart. 네, 그래서 여기 예를 딱 보자마자 아, 영화나 드라마나 연극 이런 데에서 역할을 고정적으로 주는 것이 아닌 경우에도 쓸수 있구나 아시겠죠? Mm-hmm. 그리고 여기에서 그 헬스 씨가 말을 바꿨잖아요, 중간에. Right. 바꾼 이유를 저는 추측할 수 있을 것 같아요. I, I think I can guess why oh, really? she cho- uh, chose another word for uh, team. Oh, you think Because so? Because in the beginning she said in a team. Oh. And that's not incorrect, absolutely incorrect, but right. usually people say on, on a team. On a team. 그래서 in right. a team이라고 말을 하는 순간 팀이 팀 앞에 인이 나오는 게 틀린 건 아닌데 일반적으로 언을 쓰거든요. Right. So then she's like in a, okay, what are you in? You're in a group. 맞아요. But on a team. 100% 우리가 그 확신을 갖고 말할 수는 없지만 아마도 right. 그런 그 생각의 흐름이었던 것 같아요. Right. In이라고 말을 해버렸는데 팀이 나오는데 일반적으로 팀은 잘안 쓰고 언을 쓰니까 인어 right. 내가 들어갈 수 있는 게아 그룹. 똑같은 말이지만 일반적으로 인하고 그룹은 잘 어울리니까 바꿔줬어요. 오케이 okay? 사소한 거지만 이런 것도 짚고 넘어갈 필요도 있습니다. Right. 다음 문장 볼까요? Mm-hmm. Or if you've got a sports thing, you, you, you want to be on the team with the African because their typecast is being really athletic. Or if you've got a sports thing, you've, you want to be on the team with the African because their typecast is being really athletic. 여기에서 보시면 바로 on the team, on이 나오죠. Yeah, she 네. said on the team. 네, 앞에서는 in 하고 팀을 같이 쓰려다가 그룹으로 바꿔줬다면 여기에서는 마음 편하게. Yeah. 또 자연스럽게 so, 언어 okay. 써주고 있습니다. So, or if you've got a sports thing, mm-hmm. 스포츠 관련된 뭔가가 있다면 You want to be on the team with the African. 그 아프리카계 사람, 여기서 the라고, 이제 the African이라고 하는 이유는 딱그 사람이 있을 거예요, 눈앞에. Right. There will always be, I guess, an African in that group somewhere, yeah. in that class. 네. Yeah. 예를 들어, 지금 이 프로그램에서는 mm-hmm. You're the American. I'm, I'm the American. I'm the, the Korean. The Korean, yeah. right. So in that case, we'd be like, oh, on the show, you know, the Korean, yeah. and we know it's you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 그렇죠. 그래서 그 한정 지어서 이야기를 할때딱한 명밖에 없을 때 이렇게 right. 말할 수 있습니다. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they are typecast as being really athletic. Mm-hmm. 운동을 잘한다, 영어로. Athletic. Yes. Athletic. 네, 그래서 어, 스포츠 관련된 게 있으면 은 아프리카계 사람과 같은 팀을 하고 싶어요. 운동을 잘한다는 고정관념이 있으니까요. Mm-hmm. 다 그런 건 아니더라고요. 제 주변 친구들 보면은 right. not 
you know, black people are athletic. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are not no. athletic, yeah. who cannot dance, no. <laughs> you know, all the stereotypes. Yeah, so it's a stereotype. Not yeah, Asians, just a stereotype, yeah. Not all Asians are very, very smart. Right. It's a stereotype. It's just yes. something that people think, but it might not necessarily be true. Hmm. Right, okay, let's everyone. move on to the next one. Okay, and I think that's the last sentence, so let's see what, how she wraps up her clip. So it's definitely something that's really common, I think, and just another word for stereotyping. So it's definitely something that's really common, I think, and just another word for stereotyping. 그래서, so it's definitely something that's really common. Mm -hmm. 확실히 아주 흔한 일이고요. Mm -hmm. uh, I think 흔하다고 생각합니다. And just another word for stereotyping. Mm -hmm. 무엇이? 바로 typecasting이 고정관념과 같은 뜻의 단어인 것 같습니다. 라고 정리가 됐네요. Okay, so that was a very interesting and thought-provoking clip. Why don't we take a look at it one more time for review? Usually in the world of acting, if someone's always being cast in the same kind of role, you say that they're being typecast. So for example, if someone's um, cast as an evil villain in one movie, and after that all the roles that they're getting are all, always for evil villains, that's because people are seeing them as this one role and they can't see them as anything else. Um, so they're being typecast as an evil villain all the time. Um, and it's definitely a term that can be used in everyday life as well. Um, and I think it's just another word for stereotyping. So for example, at university here in Australia, there's people from all these different countries and maybe you've got a group assignment to do and someone's thinking, oh, I want to be in a team with an a, a group with an Asian because their typecast is being really smart. Or if you've got a sports thing, you, you're, you want to be on the team with the African because their typecast is being really athletic. Um, so it's definitely something that's really common, I think, and just another word for stereotyping. One, two, three, hit it.